All right, so uh, I was just getting wrapped up with my uh, Raiders video on, hey, Raiders about to make the playoffs. This is, uh, or at least have a chance to make the playoffs. This is so awesome. Uh, what will they do? Uh, make my film study on their, you know, comeback win against the Colts when this story dropped. And I wasn't going to make a video on it. I was thinking maybe I'll just touch on it uh, in my other Raiders video. But I was already seeing some confusion about what the case was. Uh, I won't call it misinformation, but kind of some misinformation. It's a short article read. I recommend you just read the article. You'll understand just what we know and what we don't. But here's what we know. Uh, Nate Hobbs was arrested for a DUI uh, just hours after the uh, Raiders win against the Colts. That's fact number one. TMZ, who they reported the story, TMZ, very reliable on this stuff, said that uh, the officers made contact with uh, him uh, around 4 a.m. Uh, he failed the field sobriety test uh, and was eventually booked into uh, you know, uh, Clark County Detention Center at 6.38 PM. Worth mentioning that this is not a you know felony like Henry Ruggs's stuff was. This is just a misdemeanor. Uh, it, you know it's not going to be good for him. It's going to hurt him, but it's not going to end his life the way the Henry Ruggs situation did. Uh, but the real thing and the real reason why I wanted to make this video is because I kept seeing this get talked about, and so I want to be clear on this. So he was he was asleep at the wheel in a parking lot. That part is undoubtedly true. It also says, the exact wording we have is, witnesses saw Hobbs asleep at the wheel on a parking lot exit ramp. So this means that A, uh, people saw him, and B, it was at the exit ramp, not just in a parking spot. We know that. Now, uh, it might have still been in a parking spot, and this is untrue, or maybe there's sort of parking spots like in the exit ramps, but I, I've never seen something like that. So I would assume that in the exit ramp, it's, you know, what I'm viewing, and I even Googled it to try to get a, you know, example. It's usually something like this, you know, where there isn't really a spot where you could be, uh, you know, you know, pulled over. But at the same time, if he was pulled over, then it's actually not really him being irresponsible whatsoever. Like, if there was some outside, you know, area where he kind of pulled over and he realized, like, oh my god, I, I can't even move, I'm just going to pull over and fall asleep, like, okay, you still shouldn't have gotten behind the wheel, but at least, you know, you didn't really drive uh, drunk, you didn't actually put anyone in harm's way, you were about to make a bad decision and didn't, but there's also the flip side of maybe he just passed out when he was waiting for the little, you know, things to go up, uh, and, you know, he was just so tired and fell asleep, because a lot of DUIs do happen when guys just fall asleep at the wheel because they're so tired tired. Uh, so it's an interesting situation from the football side of things. It feels like the Raiders just can't seem to stay out of their own way. It's really disappointing as someone who likes the Raiders. Uh, this is another disappointing thing. And I, I just, I wanted to clear up that, uh, parking lot exit ramp situation. Cause I keep hearing people say, Oh, he was just asleep in a parking lot. Who cares? It's like, well, uh, maybe, but it seems like from the wording that I could gather from TMZ, uh, maybe not as well. And so it could go either way, and we just don't know. So I wanted to be clear about that, uh, and hopefully this helped clear up some confusion for the rest of you. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going back to making film studies now. I'm tired of all this breaking news stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. Uh, let me know what you think of this situation in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.